You know, I've been reading a lot of stuff online about how Elon Musk's tweets have been influencing the price of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Dogecoin. And frankly, it's pretty confusing. And well, it got me to thinking, you know, I'm getting older. Well, sometimes I look around and I don't even recognize the world I'm living in anymore. Things are changing every day and well, not always for the better. And sometimes I think we need to take a moment to slow down and talk about how things were just a bit more simple back in my day. Back in my day, people weren't sinking their hard-earned money into things like Dogecoin and NFTs, crypto goggles. Back in my day, people knew the value of money, which is why we put also all of our savings into smart investments like Beanie Babies and subprime mortgages. And back in my day, people weren't giving out cash and incentives to convince people to get the COVID vaccine. Back then, the only incentive people needed to get the COVID vaccine was, you know, not wanting to get COVID. So we took the vaccine for nothing, like a bunch of suckers. No free vaccine tacos for us. And back then, we weren't choosy either. You took whatever vaccine you get your hands on. Pfizer, Moderna, heck, you even drank some bleach if you could find some. Back in my day, Netflix wasn't developing video game stream beagles. Back in my day, you could only play one game on Netflix. It was called, is there anything good on here? And after 30 minutes of scrolling, you lost. Back in my day, Kentucky Derby winners weren't getting caught juicing horse feathers. If you were an athlete and you got caught juicing, that meant you played baseball or you were a cyclist. And now our ponies do drugs too? <gasps> oh, ho, 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 that's right, Rusty. I, Forgot about Mr. Ed. That fine gentleman loved cocaine. That's how they got him to talk. Did you know how they got him to shut up? <laughs> That's right, horse tranquilizers. Back in my day, no one thought COVID-19 was leaked from a lab. No, sir, back in my day, we thought COVID-19 came into our lives the old-fashioned way. A human locked eyes with a handsome, mysterious pangolin at a wet market and immediately knew they were destined to be together. Was it love, maybe, hunger? Sure. Listen, we don't know if they ate the thing or married it, but the rest is history. Back in my day, we didn't have TikTok dance challenges. Back in my day, we had real dance challenges. Someone at the prom would clear a space in the center of the floor and point to you. You'd step into the center of the circle and do the Charleston dance that your grandma taught you. And then some gymnastics kid would come out and do a backflip and you'd scream, backflips are not a dance. No one could hear you over the sound of all the cheering and clapping. And you'd go home and your grandma would say, did everybody like it when you did the Charleston? And you'd lie to her and say, yeah, grandma, I was everybody's favorite. But she'd know you were lying. Because you were crying. <laughs> Back in my day, Jeff Bezos wasn't going to space with his brother, Prime Swoggles. Back in my day, I was going to space with my brother. Out back behind the garage when he came home from college and was like, bro, you ever try salvia? And I was like, no, what's that? And he was like, it's like weed, but it only lasts for five minutes. Also, it makes you go insane. And I was like, is it fun? And he was like, not at all. And I was like, what are we waiting for? And then we spent five minutes in a chaotic spiral of terrifying ego death, the likes of which no man should ever have to endure. Simpler times, I guess. We don't skimp on special effects here. <laughs> Back in my day, Bill and Melinda Gates weren't airing their dirty laundry out in public. Micro stop it. Back then, if you wanted to look at a billionaire's private life, you had to fly on down to Omaha, Nebraska, go to Warren Buffett's house, and offer him $50 to whip out his Johnson. Oh, he'll take the money every time. Trust me, he may be rich, but it's never enough. It's never enough. Back in my day, Andrew Yang wasn't running an outsider campaign for mayor in New York City. He was running an outsider campaign for president. And we didn't criticize his every move or statement. Because deep in our hearts, we knew that goofy, fun-loving bastard had no shot. Hey, Rusty, who are you going to vote for in the mayoral election? <gasps> Giuliani! <laughs> back in my day, Chinese rockets weren't plummeting back to Earth. No, the only Chinese rocket we had to worry about was Yao Ming. He was unstoppable in the paint and pretty funny in commercials, too. 
Back in my day, Liz Cheney wasn't being called a rhino. No, back then, they would have called Matt Gates a rhino because he's endangered and horny. Back in my day, I wasn't doing this show for no audience. No, sir, back in my day, if I were doing a show for no audience, it meant I was doing improv. Right out of college in the back of a wine bar at 10 p.m. on a Tuesday, and I'd yell out for a suggestion, and then after an excruciatingly long pause, a waitress, who was the only person in the room, would say, pineapple, so that we could get started. Because you never showed up to practice. That's why we cut you, Rusty. Back in my day, Caitlyn Jenner wasn't running for governor of California. No, sir. She was running in the Olympics. And that's, I think, all I'm going to say about that. Well, I'm sorry I had to do that. But sometimes it's... This is me. Back in my day.